Gene, first off, on a macro level here, do you think that, you know, we're in, a, we're in a nervous part of the market? Obviously, last week, volatile, seeing some spikes, as we just talked about. The market is jumpy. Volatility, the VIX, whatever, is up. Do you think big tech will weather this better than before, or will people sell what they know they can sell to raise cash? I think big tech is going to do better than the broader market. I really see this as a pivotal point in the market. There's going to be a fracturing between the haves and the have-nots. And I think if we look, just take a step back and think about strength, I think that is going to be the kind of the, the functional war that investors will look into. This is really surprising, but if you look at big tech, look at Apple, for example, over the last two years, it has outpaced the S&P by 6x and any other fang by 2.5x. A lot of strength uh, with that company in spe specifically, but this fracturing of the market really needs to come from previous strength, which I just outlined. But more importantly, what has the pandemic changed in terms of how we're going to live our lives? And undoubtedly, tech has emerged as something that is more foundational. And my experience in investing is to anticipate what's going to happen 6, 12, 3 years down the road. And I suspect that there will be continued concern that we're going to have different outbreaks uh, as we emerge, uh, progress in the next few years. And I think that companies that have been negatively impacted by this, if you think about uh, like the airline industry, for example, uh, they will have a discount to their multiple in anticipation of that. And I think companies that are benefiting exponentially from it, uh, big tech companies, are going to have a benefit to their multiple. And so when I think about my personal holdings, I have skinned them down to some a uh, handful of, of critical tech companies that uh, I think are really going to fundamentally change the world. Like whom? So, um, well, uh, I, I can just, I don't want to mention all my, my holdings here. I can, uh, I think that one of the top holdings, I don't own this one because we talk so much about it. I want to be, make sure that I am judicious and, um, and don't have any uh, skin in the game specifically. But I think Apple's going to be one of the top performers. $1.5 billion market cap. Hard to imagine this going to two and a half, three trillion. But I think that it actually can. And the simple reason is that it has become the foundation of how we're living whether it's from work from home, educate from home, health and wellness. And so I think Apple is, is, is the best company to own over the next few years. In terms of my personal holdings, Brian, uh, this one is uh, more of a risky play, but it is uh, Zillow. Uh, I think that fundamentally what we've seen in terms of the impact of the pandemic is people are going to be moving around more. I think they're going to be coming from big cities to smaller cities, from uh, urban areas to more suburban areas. And I think that uh, the numbers with Zillow are just staggering. Uh, they have the same number of monthly users in the U.S., almost the same number, 200 million as Facebook does at 220 million in the U.S. It's, it is uh, quite impressive. So those are a couple names I'm most keen on. Again, I don't own Apple uh, because I just want to be most judicious. It's a name we talk a lot about, and I do own Zillow.